welcome back to my kitchen. And today I'm gonna to be making some chicken cutlet parmesan. Now I'm not gonna make my marinade, which you can use actually either like leftover meat gravy or sauce, or make some fresh marinade. I actually did do that, so if you want that recipe, you can look in my uh, videos that are before this. I did make it once before. And let's get started. I'm gonna show you what you need to make your cutlets, and uh, let's go. All right guys, so what I did was I preheated my oven to 400 degrees. And I'm gonna use a cookie sheet because I do not fry them on the stove, I bake them in the oven, but they come out really crispy, I'll show you. Okay, so what you're gonna need is, I have about seven cutlets over here. I had to pound them down so they don't look so good. Usually I like to get them from the butcher, they make them look nicer. I have about six eggs. I don't know, maybe like two cups of uh, seasoned breadcrumbs. I'm using Progresto Italian style seasoned breadcrumbs. And of course you want very good cheese. Locatelli, my favorite, right? You have your olive oil you're gonna use on your pan. And what you wanna do now, okay, is you wanna get started with breading your cutlets. So, I'm gonna start with the egg mixture. To this, I'm gonna add a little bit of basil. This is the freeze-dried basil. Okay, just a little bit. A little bit of garlic powder, just a drop, a little flavor. And a little bit of salt and pepper. Just give it a couple of turns, a little bit of salt, and some nice fresh pepper. A little black pepper. Now, you're gonna whip this up a little bit. And to the eggs now, you're gonna throw in, again, this is about six eggs, depending on how many cutlets you're making. I have seven cutlets here. This is six eggs. I might have to throw one or two more in. And in the meantime, this is about maybe, I don't know, a little under a half a cup. So we're gonna start pouring that in. You may not need the whole thing. No, you're not. You're just gonna pour that in. Kind of eyeball it, you know? The cheese is going to give it a really good flavor. You want to get all the eggs mixed up. Okay? You can use a bigger bowl, but this is how you get it in there. You want as much cheese mixed in there as you can get for the flavor, like I said, and keep it going. Okay, so this probably isn't the best dish to do it. I usually like a big round bowl. It's easier to whisk it in, you know? But this is good. So here we go. Now, before you do anything else, you're gonna take your cookie sheet and you're gonna put some nice olive oil and you're gonna get it all over your cookie sheet. You wanna put a nice amount because you're gonna be basically frying it in the oven, you know? So you wanna have that there. You're gonna put this to the side because you're gonna put it on top of your cutlets also. Okay, hands clean. I scrub them right before like a doctor, okay? So what you're gonna do, first you're gonna go into your breadcrumb, okay? First breadcrumb, get it all coated. Now in the eggs. Hands for everything, I always tell you. Just make sure that they're clean. Back in the breadcrumb, okay? So you got that? Breadcrumb, eggs, breadcrumb. Make sure it's nicely coated. You wanna get a nice thick coating on there, okay? Press it down. And also make sure that your cutlets are nice and thin. Nobody wants to bite into a thick cutlet, otherwise it's not a cutlet, okay? So you want them nice and thin. As you're pressing it down, they will get thinner too, which is nice, okay? All right, so there's one down. These are very, very big, but that's okay. You can make them thinner, you can cut these in half if you wanna get more out of them. All right, so let's do one more, then I'll stop and finish. Again, breadcrumb first. Pat it down into the breadcrumbs. Now into the eggs. Get it all covered. Put all that nice cheese and spices on there. And drip it off back in the breadcrumb. You may have to add some more eggs and cheese and more breadcrumb depending on how many cutlets you have and how big they are, because this seems to be taking up quite a bit of them. So I'm probably gonna have to add a few more ingredients to my dishes, you know? Okay, but this is another very large cutlet. That's why I don't have too many of them. One of these is actually a pretty big meal, you know? Okay, now, you're gonna line them up. You don't want them touching, you want them a little bit distance apart because you want them to cook nice on all sides. I'm gonna bread these, finish them up, and uh, when they're all breaded, I'll show you what it looks like on the pan before I break them in the oven. Okay, guys, like I said, I'm not gonna show you how I did my marinara, but what I did was, while I got everything prepared, I started my marinara. This is just two cans, okay? It's one can of crushed, one can of whole. I crushed it up good. You know, olive oil, a little bit of seasonings, fresh basil. Like I said, I have a uh, video 
of my marinade that I had already have on my channel. So you can go back and look if you want to know how I made this. So also I want to tell you something about this stupid spoon thing. You know how they tell you this is like a spoon rest? Yeah, that's fine, except that watch what happens. If you have anything on the spoon, it's gonna all drip down. So just do what I've always done my whole life and my mother and my grandmother's. Make sure everything's off the spoon and just gently keep it over there. And let it cook a little bit. Let that cook now until your cutlets are cooked. So we're gonna go back to the counter. I'm gonna show you my cutlets are all breaded and how I put them in the oven, and we'll see you in a second. Okay guys, so I breaded the cutlets. Like I said, these are massive. They're very, very big. I wound up getting eight because this one broke. But anyway, you can either cut them in half and do a little bit less, Make them however you want. Make sure they're nice and thin. Look, see the, th the thickness of these? Nice and thin. That's coated, okay, double coated. Okay, if you can hear my oven, it just hit 400 degrees, which is what you want. You want it to be on 400 prior to you, you know, breading them. Now, olive oil, always olive oil. You're gonna just drizzle it on the, remember we had it on the bottom, put the cutlets on, and now you're gonna put a nice little bit on each one, all right? Because you basically are frying them in the oven, so you need to have a little oil. But don't worry, as much as it looks like there's a lot here, when they're all cooked, we drain it off. You know, you put it on paper towels and you uh, drain off the oil. And then we're gonna prepare them on the uh, Parmesan. So right now we're gonna throw these in the oven and I'm gonna say maybe 20 minutes on each side. You want them nice and crispy. And uh, I'll see you back in about half an hour, 40 minutes, depending on uh, how long they take, but about 40 minutes tops, 20 minutes on each side. Make sure you flip them. Check them after about 15 minutes. If they're a little bit crispy, flip them over and then let them cook the rest on the other side. Um, so I'll see you probably about a half an hour, 40 minutes. Hey guys, the cutlets are out. And if you look here, they're nice and crispy. What I did was I took them out and I put them on paper towels to drain off the oil, okay? So they're nice and crispy, if you can hear them. <laughs> okay, we're gonna let them sit for two seconds. Now, what I did was I had made some marinara early, like I said, this is, uh, Two cans, one can of crushed, one can of whole tomatoes. So again, look on my video on my channel for Marinat if you want to make that. You can use leftover gravy. Don't ever use anything out of a jar. Remember that. Okay, so now what you're going to do to make your Parmesan is you're going to have your cooked cutlets. Oh, leave your oven on, okay? I had it on 400. You can lower it down to 375, but I left it on 400 because you want to throw this back in the oven and get the cheese all melted. In the meantime, I also put up a pot of water, a nice salted pot of water. Uh, for my spaghetti, because we're gonna have a little spaghetti on the side of the Parmesan. Now, I prefer to have some fresh mozzarella, which I cut up in pieces. You know, you can make it thinner, thicker, however you want. Or you could just use the shredded one. Doesn't really matter. A little more grated cheese and some fresh basil. And of course, the marinade, okay? Now, get a pan. I actually always use disposable pans, because now this is another pan I have to wash, but I'm doing it for you guys, so I hope you appreciate it. Anyway, you're gonna put some Marinara on the bottom of your pan, okay? And you're just gonna get that all smushed around the bottom. Okay. Now, okay. Now you're gonna take your cutlets. Let's move the gravy out of the way. And you're gonna just put your cutlets now in the pan. Again, always wash your hands. I'm not gonna say it, but enough the times, right? I'm gonna put these around the pan. Have a couple more here. I'm actually leaving a couple of them uh, just breaded because I have one daughter who does not like Parmesan. I won't say her name, but she's sitting in the room. Okay, now what you do is actually, you know what, I'm sorry, I did this wrong. You're gonna first take your mozzarella and you're gonna put a couple slices around. Okay, you could put two, you could put one and break it up in pieces, however you want. But I would give them two if they're nice and big. Okay, this one's kinda small, so I'll give it one nice piece. And you wanna make sure that that's nice on it. Now you're gonna take your grated cheese, okay? Throw a little bit more of that on there. Okay, now I'm just gonna stay right there, I'm gonna wash my hands. Okay, so now after you have the cheese, I had to wash my hands, you know? I put the cheese on, the mozzarella on, and then you're gonna put now your marinara on top, okay? You can do the cheese first or second, however you want. 
but I like it like this. And then what I do is I actually throw a little bit more cheese on top for a little extra. But actually something about the cheese going on first seems to make it a little bit more juicy. Make sure you cover the cutlet with the sauce, you know? So you get it on there. I just throw that to the side. Now what I do, you can take a little bit of shredded mozzarella, but I just take little pieces and just throw it back on there just for a little bit of a, a extra cheese, okay? Somebody's been stealing the cheese with the plate. But you're just gonna throw a little bit extra on here and then you're gonna put on some fresh basil, okay? I just take a handful, I washed it, and I just throw a couple of pieces on each one, okay? And then you're going to, remember, you have uh, your oven still going, so you're gonna pop it back in the oven just for maybe like 15 minutes or so. Okay, maybe 15 minutes, not even, 10 minutes. You just really wanna get this all melted. And, because uh, everything's cooked, you're just melting the cheese. So I am gonna throw this now in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. Again, I have mine on 400, you could go a little lower, but why bother? Just leave the oven on the whole time. Okay, so let's throw this in. Remember, your pot of water is gonna boil, and you're gonna throw your spaghetti in. So I'll see you guys in about 10, 15 minutes, and we'll put it on the plate. And taste it. Hey guys, it's all done and I have it all plated up. I made a little bit of spaghetti and I'm using the same marinara that I made. And here's a nice piece of the cutlet, I mean the uh, parmesan. And here's the rest that's in the pan. It's nice and delicious, it smells so good. Of course, I poured a little bit of my Moscato, which I'm gonna taste in a little bit. So here you go, look. Nice al dente spaghetti and chicken cutlet parm. Let's give it a little cut, we'll give it a little taste. And remember, the cheese is on top and under, so it should be nice and moist and delicious. Okay, that's a big piece, so I'm gonna cut that in half. Oops. Okay. Mmm, look at that. Oops. I'm gonna have to pull my cheese. Okay. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. Delish. All right. It's so yummy. And again, if you don't have Time to make your own marinade. If you have some frozen stuff, it takes no time though. By the time you put everything in the oven, you open up a couple of cans and you're all good to go. So again, if you guys enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel. Happy Sunday. Salute.